All right, guys, how's it going? Welcome to St. Nicholas. I'm going to show you today where you can see some tulips in Belgium, something you usually associate with the Netherlands. I guess I'll just get off the bus when I see some tulips. It's going the wrong way, okay. She thinks she's driving the 22. And it, which, which number is this? 23. 23, okay. Now, now we're stuck. <laughs> okay, we continue. The bus is lost. This is what happens when you come to the Flemish countryside by yourself and take the bus. <laughs> now we're trying to turn left. Bus drama in the provinces. So here I am, off the bus in the middle of nowhere, flat land. We're up in a part of Belgium here called the Vasland, in English the Washland, literally the Washland. Very marshy area. I think we went past the tulips on the bus just now. Like I said, my tactic was just sit on the bus until you see some. And I saw some, so it looks like it'll be about a 10, 15 minute walk back there. That's uh, the Netherlands border just down there. But we're going this way. I don't want to show you Dutch tulips. I want to show you Belgian tulips. See the tulips up ahead. Just these rows of colors. Hopefully this is legal <laughs> and we won't get an angry farmer coming and running after us. Loads and loads of tulips. You can see at different stages of their lives, probably ripe for picking. And you have some where uh, all of these where the heads have already fallen off. So they're definitely farming them, you know, commercially. And apparently uh, there's an agreement. Some of the farms over the border in the Netherlands uh, give some of the seeds uh, for, for some of the farms here to grow their own tulips. So don't walk between the tulips to avoid spreading diseases to them. They're very fragile flowers. They need very specific conditions to grow. They actually need some very uh, cold conditions. And obviously uh, humans going amongst them with all their little bacteria and viruses on their fingers can spread some nasties easily. So it's best to keep your distance from these flowers. And also they have pesticides on them and you must definitely not pick them. In Belgium, there's plenty of opportunities to buy some tulips. You can buy a small bunch for, you know, just three, four, five euro. So please don't go and uh, pick them up. Having a look at them in a field like this, it's uh, a little bit special and it would be lovely to walk amongst them. Maybe you can do that in the Netherlands. I'm not sure. I've never been to Kirkenhof or anywhere like that. Yeah, it was nice to just come see them out in nature rather than <laughs> in a little bunch in, <laughs> in a bucket outside a supermarket. Lovely flowers with lovely colours. Maybe you can spot some of the odd ones there. They're generally planted in their uh, colour group. So you've got this kind of Spanish flag uh, edition here, for example. But then you can see the odd pink or even red one uh, shooting up, which wasn't harvested properly or which is still growing. And then it seems like uh, the police have been called in to keep uh, nosy tourists away. Stop them enjoying the tulips. But I've heard there might be one other place you can see them nearby. Well guys, here I am, slap bang in the centre of Rodemore Polder. No more tulips to be seen, I've walked for about an hour, just flat land, a village over there, some wind farms, a plain, but no more tulips. And I could spend, I don't know, the rest of the month <laughs> walking around looking for tulips, but I think I should get back home now. So if you do choose to come here, up to this area, up to the vast lands to look for tulips, bring a car, don't do what I've done and come on the bus um, and then find yourself walking around looking for fields, which may or may not exist. Hope you enjoyed this little misadventure. Join me soon for some more around Belgium. Looking for a go-kart? 
only 10 euro here outside De Klinger village.